name is James Tom. I'm a warrant officer. I served in the regular army for over 25 years. I transferred to the reserves. I got a job with the public service working for the RCMP. I was placed on leave without pay and I am in the process of being released from the armed forces. I am not authorized to wear this uniform right now. I accept full responsibility for what I am doing and what I am saying, and I am willing to suffer the consequences. This is hard for me. I may suffer repercussions for uh, what I'm doing right now by wearing this uniform out in public. But something needs to be said, and I think I speak on behalf of a lot of people when I say enough is enough. I do not speak on behalf of the Canadian Armed Forces or the regiment that I have served with. But I want to honor them and I need to wake them up. I do not like the direction that this country is going. I disagree with the government imposing mandates on us. I am not here to speak on behalf of any political organization or group. I am here for me. I am here for the people of this country. It's the people of this country who work for a living that make this country run. I work for them. I also am here to pay my respect to the veterans of this country that have given their lives and their, lung and their limbs and their minds in the service of this country. I am doing this for them as well. So this is my message. We as Canadians, all Canadians, need to stand up for what we believe in. First Nations, immigrants, and the people that were born here. This country is ours. It is not the property of the moneyed few. There are people out there who risk their lives every day. They're truck drivers, they're construction workers, they put the power lines up, they lay the telephone lines that enable us to communicate with each other. I'm here for them. I put this uniform on for them to defend this country. So I want everybody to know what I intend to do as a form of protest against overbearing government mandates is to march from Vancouver to Ottawa. On foot, under my own power, and on my own dime. This is peaceful, this is constructive, this is setting an example for anyone that they have the power to stand on their own two feet and make their voices heard if they have a problem. They have the right to do that. Am I afraid? Yes, absolutely I am. But I'm gonna work through it. I am not encouraging lashing out with violence, with coarse language, with profanity. I am not making inflammatory statements to any person or group. I want us all to come together, everyone, to recognize what we have in this country. And that's the freedom to speak out and disagree and make our voices heard. I disagree with what the government is doing right now with citizens of this country who have chosen to go to Ottawa and make their voices heard. It's time to reach out with an open hand and not a raised fist. So on the 20th of February, I am leaving from Vancouver and I am marching to Ottawa. I've not always got along with the people that I work with. And I've said the wrong things and, and not acted in ways that were professional. I just want them to know that. And if they want to reach out to me, I would love to hear from them. If what I am doing is offending you, then I apologize. But something needs to be done. I have spent the last two years sitting back, saying nothing, and that time is done. It's 
time for me to do something in support of Canadians, in support of soldiers. Being a soldier isn't just about taking up arms, it's about mobilizing your inner resources to do something and make a stand. And not just that, to march forward. And that's what I'm gonna do. I serve this country. by putting the uniform on. I've regained the pride in this uniform and what it means. And that flag right there. But any of my brothers and sisters in uniform, why I am here is I want you to understand that you have a right to make yourself heard as well. I'm proud of everybody that came down here. I am proud of everybody who is holding a flag and if you want to support me, I welcome it. But if you want to insult me, twist my words and my message, that's your right. If you want to hate me, that's your right too. You have the right to your own opinion. So say what you're gonna say, and I'm gonna say what I'm gonna say.